Broad Strokes Productions presents The Great Wizarding War. Written by Justin Zagri and Garrett Schweighauser. Directed by Justin Zagri. Produced by Mick Ignis. Chapter 1. Wounds and Wear. Our what's no more? Imagine things are going to change. And not one Death Eater's going to have a row at us so long as we're together. What if it's a friend facing us? Or worse, someone who wants to be there? All right, Snivellus. If you beat me, I'll stay away from Lily. Fade fire! You have no idea what it is like to lose something! Severus, please! Avada, Show me, and I might forgive you. I need help! My friend! He needs help! Right. St. Mungo's. Did you get splinched anywhere, James? James? Hibiscus. My God. James, we need to help Remus. Anyone let us in! James! James, look at me. Come on. I need you here. Lily? Remus needs your help. Why is no one answering? Take his arm. I'll get the other. Lily, we need a healer. The window's solid. No one's answering. How did you... Put him on this bench. Give me your vest. I've tried everything. Nothing is stopping the bleeding. Your vest? Take the strips and put it over the cuts. Put pressure on them. Marilyn. James, what are you doing? Keep applying pressure. Where's Lily? Out of the way, you two. My God. What did this? I don't know. You don't know? It might have been dark magic. I couldn't see. And you? No. We need to get him inside. Does anyone know his blood type? O positive. Are either of you the same type? Sirius is a universal donor. Good. Come with me. Mobile corpus. <laughs> You, the universal donor, lie down next to him. This isn't going to be comfortable. What are you doing? Blood transfusion. What about the potions? Oh, I haven't had any for weeks here. What about his cuts? The bleeding isn't stopping. Please, wait outside. Miss Evans, stay here. I need an extra wand for his wounds. I'm not leaving. Now, or I'll make you leave. <laughs> Fancy place. A pub, is it? You, you gents, you wouldn't happen to know where I am, would you? Shall I dispatch of what remains of our company? I suppose. What's the one for, friend? Imperial. You never served us our drinks. Why don't you find us your finest brandy? I did not. I will do. Don't want to sully our hands, do we? I suppose not. I've been watching you for some time now, Severus. You have proven yourself most impressive these past several months. The Blacks, the Caros, even Lucius cannot deny what they have seen. I see. And. From what you have told me, you can handle yourself against four talented, pure-blood Gryffindors. Three, if you ask me. <clears throat> My lord. Yes. Well, one should see the potential in anyone. What one lacks in courage, other strengths can be found. Here we are, aged in the gullet of a Hungarian horned hell since December of 26. Bloody good year from what I've tasted. A good year indeed. Now, if you would be so kind, make your way back to the broom cupboard and stay there. Will do. It is exceptionally rare that I seek out someone to join me, Severus. I hope you understand this. I do, my lord. I am honored that you sought me out personally. 
Only the most talented of wizards can join me. And only those who understand the importance of what I am doing. We must cleanse our people, my friend. Too long we have seen our kind be sullied by these treacherous, warring, primitive muggles. And, as you well know, too many of our own kind dare to see eye to eye with them. Yes, I believe I do. Would you mind if I asked you a question, my lord? You are a brave man, Severus. Will you be recruiting only purebloods? I will be recruiting wizards with the potential to show their greatest worth. It is unfortunate that our kind have so few pure families remaining. So, you will be accepting Muggleborns? You do mean Miss Evans? Don't you? Yes. Of course. But as talented as you are, Severus, there is no denying that Mr. Potter has a talent of his own. I would imagine he has a bit of respect for you now. <clears throat> I... I honestly don't think so, sir. Well, maybe you'll have another chance. Take off your glasses. How's Remus? Not good. You look like you knew her, the healer. I was applying to St. Mango's as a trainee. You never told me that. I was keeping it a surprise if I was accepted. Oh. Look, Lily, I... Sit up straight. Your concussion and ribs are fine, but these aren't normal cuts. They were made by dark magic. It'll take more time to heal. Thanks. Lily, please, I just want to talk. Remus and Sirius are at the end of the hall. What are you doing, old boy? Can I see Remus? I wouldn't recommend it right now. Young Mr. Lupin is a bit delirious. Why? Won't stop bleeding. Never seen it before. His friend gave what he could and I managed to get more from our stores. But it doesn't fix the problem. Is he awake? Barely. I need to see him. You'll see him in the morning. I can't. What happened to him, it's my fault. You cut him up like that? Yeah. Then why should I let you see him at all? It's all right, miss. I can vouch for him. After what he admitted? He didn't, actually. It's complicated. Oh, bloody kids like you getting involved in this bloody war. Fat load of brains you all have. I'm so sorry, mate. <sighs> for what? I don't know for everything that happened, for you nearly getting... Let's go see Remus. You shouldn't right now, mate. My God. They keep having to replace the bandages. They can slow it down, but... Remus? Can you hear me, mate? Mooney, if you can hear me, I'm so sorry. You bloody fool! You got us into this! You! Remus. You could have let it be! Walked away, but you pushed him. You taunted him, and now I'm stuck here, training away because of you! Calm down, mate. And you barely put up a fight! 
Do you even know what's gonna happen in two nights? I'm done with you! The both of you! The lot of you! Looney, please. Perfect. I thought I had him at least somewhat managed. Don't touch me! You're gonna love me come night after. See how you handle me then. You bloody well better calm down or I'll put you under again. You two out. <laughs> You're all right, mate. I'm bloody not all right. Where's my wand? I've got it. So give it to me. James, what are you doing? Not gonna going after him again, are you? Give me my wand, Sirius. Where's Peter? Peter? I don't know. I'm going to find him. Why? To find out where he ran off like a bloody coward! James, think about this. Look at me, Padfoot. We did the right thing. We underestimated him, but we did the right thing, right? I... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, mate. I, I don't know. Wrongs! James! Good evening, friends. Please, welcome our newest recruit. I'm sure he will prove to be most valuable. Thank you.